which come from Draco. These are the draconian laws he was talking about. Draco is is the dragon of revelation. Why right? one of the biggest constellations in the sky outside of um Hydra. Um which is Moot Tartaret. Right? This is Moot Tartaret. This is Draco. This would be the bat leg of that little that little box we see. Right? That's a leg, and then we come around like this here. That's Draco. You understand? Who's the mother of the dog? This is the motherfucker playing God, y'all. This is John, Jacob, Jen, Yakub, goddamn God, Yahweh, Allah, right? The son of Alat, the son of Neat, right? Neat is also, you know, um, Moot Tadaret, right? In, in a sense, who is also Moot, the great mother, who is also Isis. Or the guardian of, of Isis, right? The guardian of the mother. She's the protector of the mothers. You know what I mean? She's the protect the mother of all mamas. That's why we call her Big Mama. You know what I mean? Who's also reptilian family. You understand? So we look at that. And then we look at this here. Right? We look at this and we look at this here. So this is the draconian that they're referring to, right? This is a Big Mama Draco flip, right? Where where you would usually say draconian in, in terms of Big Mama, right? When you say draconian laws, the laws of Big Mama are now the laws of Draco family. You understand? With the two pillars, severity and mercy. So we, we talking severity, the left, or the north hand side in this instance because draco was very severe he was very very severe family that's a draco flip right my worst flip. so that's a um that's a draco big mama flip you know what i mean uh on the on the draconian constitution right which is draco's code you know what i mean this is the first law of greece the first law of athens you know what i mean in the from the um in the 600s it's the first known legal code in Europe. You know what I mean? So it stood for about 30 years, et cetera. So this is the draconian law, right? It refers to a code of laws created by Draco. You understand? A 7th century BC Athenian legislator that were written in blood, right? Like the blood of Crispus Attucks. You know what I mean? The blood of Nat Turner. Hmm blood rituals right they were written in blood the, the, the words of christ hmm right written in blood rather than ink and were exceedingly severe right even minor offenses were punishable by death and failure to pay debts could result in slavery which is what debt is debt is death right draco's intention was to clarify existing laws and reduce feud between people but his laws were considered oppressive and intolerable by modern standards, they were abolished in 549 BC. You a goddamn lie, right? Because the laws that we still live under, family, this is where we get American law, right? The concept of American law, which is written law, right? It's different between written law and oral law, right? That's why you got to study all this shit and know what the hell you talking about, right? So draconian laws is the American law. Any law that you write down and that you would call american law and compare to this shit this is what you call draconian law it's the same law from greece and rome which is why they use the same language which is latin dog latin pig latin right it's the language of draco and the draconian laws right so draco say he was the first democratic legislator represented by the um requested by the Athen the athenians but they didn't know he would be so fucked up right so his laws replaced oral law and blood feud, right? Blood feud is what we see between the gangs and shit now, right? Because there's no written law. There's, we have no constitution. You know what I mean? We have yet to follow in their footsteps or do what the fuck, at least learn a little bit what the hell they do. You know what I mean? So what's a blood feud? A blood feud is a cycle of retaliatory violence with the relatives or associates of someone who has been killed, otherwise wronged, or dishonored, seeking vengeance by killing, etc., etc. 
back and forth fucking vendetta, right? That's what you call a blood feud, right? Blood feud vendetta. So the draconian laws are what re replaced that, right? It had to stop, stop all the fucking um, the blood feud, right? So this is where we get thou shalt not kill and all that type of shit. That's to come from Draco, cause before the end, I mean, it was all oral, my G. So if you didn't hear it, you know what I mean. If you didn't, you know what I mean. If you were deaf. Dumb and blind, I mean, shit, you know, so, but when you write it down, and when you can hear it, and when you can, you can't miss all three, you know what I mean, so they had to write the shit down, and post it up, so the people can know, what is and what is not the law family, so that brings me, to what is and what is not the law family, we come to judge, Judy, Notice the Judd family. That's a Judd flip, right? Judd is, or, or, is short for Judea, right? Or Jew, right? So this is a Jewish draconian law family. This is a Jewish Greco-Roman law that they're using on the natives of the land. This is why it's all maritime because it came from overseas. Maritime law is international law that covers all... Um, domestic and international laws and shit especially when they're coming from from overseas like over the waters right so this is what we call admiralty law right so this is the law coming from israel and greece and rome and england and all this shit so it's not native law family so it's coming from the jews right judge judy shinlin right and they put this shit right in your face right the chaos theory so they don't have to tell you that's what it is but that's what it is family so judy it's short for Judith, which is a woman from Judea. Right? This is a Jewish woman. And then Shindlin is, of course, German. Right? It comes from uh, a Schindel or Schindler, which means shingles, like the shingles of a roof. Right? So, different spellings, right? Schindler, Schindel. Shindlin. Right? The lady Jew. You understand? So is it a fucking coincidence, family? No, that's not a coincidence, family. This is Judge Judy. For real, for real. You know what I mean? My words for so this is the Jewish law. This is why you swear on the Jewish law, family. This ain't African law. It's not African law. It's not Australian law. It's not South American, North American law. This is Jewish fucking law from Israel. The, the the Leviticus law mixed with the law of the Greeks and the Romans. You know what I mean? So this is what you call draconian law. Words of Jesus in blood and red, family. All things are known, all things connected, right? The little black book. Which lead me to Judge Brown, my G. Judge Joe Brown family, which is a, a, a JB flip, right? That's uh, uh, the hook of uh, uh, Yakim and the nose of Boaz, you know what I mean? That's a, a JB flip, right? Which is the red and the blue, right? The red is the white, right? The red is the white and the black is the blue, my G. You know what I mean? My words for. So, boom, we come here. That's Judge Joe Brown, right? So the right is the white, the blue is the black. You know what I mean? So that's brown, which is also brown, family. The blue, black, and the brown, right on the on the on the right hand of the south hand side. You know what I mean? The south side we got the north side, which is the left hand side. But y'all know this is the left hand side. Excuse me, which is the north hand side. This is the right hand, which is the south hand side, my dear. You understand? Boom. So that's a Joe Brown flip, as we can see. Right, we got the north and the south hand side. We got um Boaz and Yaquin. Right? This is severity and mercy. So the, this is the side where what where Draco linked to, right? He linked on, on, on this side right here with the hand in the pocket. Right. So that's why which is still the side we lean to, right? Which is why the scale is tilted to the left hand side, my G, which is the, the pillar of severity or Boaz. You know what I mean? 
Boom. So that's a Joe Brown flip. Right? So we come back to Joe Brown. Right? We look at Joe Brown. Who is also Jim Brown. Right? Of the Cleveland Browns. You understand? Who is also Cleveland Brown, my G. Washing his ass in the bathtub. Right? Can't never get his fucking house in order. Every time he build his shit back up, who knock it down, family? Whether by accident, by that damn, you know what I mean? That shit gotta be on purpose at this point. I'm talking about that nigga just bag his ass out the driveway, don't he? He ain't honk the horn, do it. He just bag his, just vroom, and knock your house down, my G. Can't even take a shit, take a bath in peace, right? Is the message, right? So that's a Cleveland Brown flip, right? On the family guy, you understand? Which is Judge Joe Brown. Can't get his fucking house in order. You understand? Which is also George Jefferson, my G. Ha! You see? More words for a nigga. Ha! You understand? Moving on up. Ha! You understand? To the east side. Go what? We finally got a piece of the pie. You understand? That George Jefferson, my G, which is Joe Brown, which is Cleveland Brown, which is a Joe Brown, George Jefferson flip. Right? Think I'm lying, family? You back on line, family? Same motherfucker. You see? Which is Sherman Hemsley. Right? Who the hell is Sherman Hemsley? Right? All in the family guy. Right? So, this is Judge Joe Brown, my G. Which is Judge Robinson from the Fred Print. Rank a bell now. You two bald head motherfuckers. You understand? Judge Robinson family, Judge Philip Banks. Which is also a a PB flip, which is Peter and 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 Jane, my G. Well, Peter is is also Boaz. You know, Peter and 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 what's her name? Peter and Jane, my G. All right, Philip, where you get the picture? All right. So Sherman is a shearer of wool and garments. All right, Sherman, the Herman. Right, the she man, right? It's a he she man, which is the shearer of wool, my G. This is the pot of weed. This is the Sherman Hemsley, right? Which is the cross dresser, right? Playing Big Mama and shit. So we look at all these pot of weed family. You understand? This is nothing more than drag and plain sight. This is what modern colonial history was, family. Modern American history was drag and plain sight. You understand? So we look at him. What does him mean, right? Him Is her or his imperial majesty family? Right? That's Hemsley. Right? 
King, King, Lord, Lord, Queen, of Queen, my G. He is in her Imperial Majesty, right? But him is also the edge of a dress, right? That has been turned under and sewn, right? So we taught him, right? We're talking Amanita once again, my dear. The weaver of worlds, the mother of all the gods.